A man shot by deputies in Aloha died from his injuries this morning at a local hospital. Neighbors had called 911 to report that man walking on the street with a rifle. News Channel 8's Tim Gordon is live on Southwest 195th Avenue. So, Tim, who was this man? Wayne, he was 56 year old Jeffrey Anderson. He lived just a few houses up the street here. Deputies and neighbors that we talked to say that Anderson pointed a rifle at deputies before he was shot. He was standing behind this car right here, pointed the gun down there. I heard two shots. Jim Briggs saw his neighbor Jeffrey Anderson after he was shot by deputies and before when he says Anderson was out on the street with a rifle. I looked out. Sure enough, there's a guy standing there with a rifle. Um, Watched him just walk up and down the street a couple times with it. And then, um, so I went upstairs, called 911. Briggs wasn't the only one to call in and bring deputies to this neighborhood. It's a warm night. This guy's walking around with a gun, and, and obviously we had a lot of phone calls about it. The Washington County Major Crime Team spent all night at the scene conducting its investigation. Most details are still at least a day away, but early on we knew two deputies shot at Anderson. We've confirmed that two of our deputies were involved and did uh, fire rounds. This picture of Anderson is from a 2006 DUI I arrest. Otherwise, there isn't much on his record. But neighbors say deputies came here to deal with him just a day or two before last night's deadly shooting. Some say Anderson's behavior was far from neighborly. He had some issues, and, you know, I don't want to see the guy dead, but it'd be nice if he was out of the neighborhood one way or another. And what happened last night has made a lasting impression on this teenager who saw it unfold from down the street. It terrifies me because I thought this was a peaceful neighborhood and then like knowing that that can happen is just scary because like we have to like now take over and like be cautious of what's going on with neighbors and stuff. And Anderson's home today has been busy with family and friends coming and going. No doubt this is a very hard time for them. They chose not to speak with us today. The family of the Aloha man killed in an officer-involved shooting says he needed help. A neighbor captured the whole thing on camera. As deputies say, Jeffrey Anderson pointed a rifle at them. You're looking at the video right now. This happened on Southwest 195th Avenue, just south of Farmington Road. Deputies say they were forced to open fire on Anderson. His family talked to KPTV's Natalie Brand. She joins us live now tonight from the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Natalie. And Shauna, the sheriff's office is still investigating this, so we still don't have a lot of details from detectives. Anderson's family says this was not typical behavior for him, but they tell us that he was struggling with severe depression and lost in his despair. It's video that's difficult to watch, especially for Jeffrey Anderson's family. I would have liked to tell him I loved him one more time. He's not hurting anymore. Jeffrey's daughters, Sarah and Stephanie, say they had been trying to get their father help. They shared with us a statement on behalf of the family. My dad was a tender hearted man who struggled with depression. The past year has been incredibly hard. Watching loved ones lose their homes and jobs has plunged him into a deep, deep depression that he could not find his way out of. But Stephanie says she never expected what happened on Saturday night when neighbors called 911 to report a man with a rifle walking down 195th. This, I did not see this coming. Home video taken by a neighbor shows the minutes leading up to deputies opening fire. You can see he was going to surrender and then something clicked. I don't think he felt like he could handle the consequences for the actions he'd already Chosen to make. The Andersons say they don't believe their dad intended to hurt or scare anyone that day. They describe him as a loving father, grandfather, and husband of 35 years who loved the outdoors and one day wanted to start a nonprofit. It doesn't have to end like this. Stephanie and Sarah say they're speaking out tonight to share a message to prevent others from experiencing the pain and loss they're suffering now. When you first notice difference in behavior and people stop doing the things that they like to do. It's really important to get them help and get the right help and to mm -hmm. be supportive and to be there and to check up on them. There are people out there that love you and care about you whether you know and accept it or not. And again, Anderson's family says they had been working on a plan, but sadly ran out of time. Now, a sheriff spokesman here confirms that deputies were called to Anderson's home just days before earlier last week and took him to the hospital for medical care. Again, that was just days before the situation on Saturday. New information about last night's breaking news from Aloha. We've obtained this home video of the armed man a deputy shot and killed last night.
as he was being arrested at his home 24 hours earlier. A neighbor caught this on video. Police have guns drawn as 56-year-old Jeffrey Anderson comes out of his home. He raises his arms and police approach him. Later, you can see him sitting on the sidewalk as police talk with him. As K2's Bob High reports, neighbors are shocked at what happened last night, but say Anderson had been dealing with depression. It would have been a perfect garage sale day at Sherry Statler's house, except for the tragedy that unfolded out on the street overnight that ended when sheriff's deputies fatally shot the man Sherry lived next door to for 27 years, Jeff Anderson. He was um, a great neighbor. He was um, always uh, caring for when we'd go on vacation, he'd take out our garbage and always looking after our home. And but Statler also says Jeff Anderson was struggling recently with mental problems that brought deputies to Anderson's home the night before the shooting. They took him to the hospital the night before, yeah. So. Do you know what the problem was, depression, or do you know? Um, I, I heard depression, yeah. I heard that um, he was on some medication and they were concerned that he had taken too much. The Washington County Sheriff's Office would only confirm deputies had been to Anderson's home in the days before Saturday night's shooting, but won't say why. Neighbors called 911 when they spotted Anderson walking down the street with a rifle Saturday night around quarter after eight. Neighbors say at first, Anderson did what deputies told him to do. And they're telling him to get on the ground. Um, so I guess he acted like he was getting on the ground, picked the rifle back up, pointed out the cops, pulled the trigger, and the gun jammed. So the cops got lucky. That's when two sheriff's deputies opened fire. Sherry Statler talked with Jeff Anderson's wife, who only found out what happened when she got home and saw all this. So upset and so surprised. I mean, you could just see she had no idea it was going to go so badly for him. Bob High, K2 News.